okay so hey what is up you guys so it is the end of week seven um this video is gonna be a little different just because i was just too exhausted to record it as soon as i got home and so then i've been waiting around trying to record it and so here we are at 11 o'clock at night about to record it's kind of like pillow talk like with my pillows and stuff i don't know but i wrote down things i wanted to talk about so give me one second okay so this week has been particularly hard i feel like i look really washed out but this week has been just um particularly hard and just overwhelming to be honest um i feel like i just um was juggling a lot and i feel like i'm trying to learn how to juggle and manage the tasks that are on my plate better um and i feel like instead of starting us off with like one not one because you can't juggle with one ball but like maybe like two or three balls to juggle we started with like six and like they're like okay well you got it so bye and so i mean it is a skill that like i'm gonna have to develop anyways but it just feels i don't know like an insurmountable insurmountable i don't know it just feels like something i'm not able to conquer right now and i'm trying to and i'm trying to learn how to conquer it better but i just I don't know I feel like I'm doing an awful awful job of it but it is what it is so I had my first midterm on Tuesday um honestly it was about what I expected it was gonna be it's gonna be hard and it took I don't know I think I was around the almost a two hour mark um our class is normally like an hour and 15 minutes and then she was like if there's not a class after you all you guys can have extra time and so we literally took all that extra time. A lot of us ate up a lot of our lunch, not ate up, but like used up the time we allot for our lunches. And it was, I don't know, each question had a lot of parts. And so you had to make sure you hit all the parts and make sure you relate it back to like the stem of the question. It was just a lot and it was just time consuming. So I know I at least got like, I don't know. I think I did okay. Probably not my best grade and that's, that's fine. Um, but I think it was okay. I don't know. I had a lot of test anxiety about it. Um, just because it's like my first like PhD test and at Pittsburgh I was in classes, but like none of those classes had tests like this. So yeah, I was really, really anxious about it and I'm still really, really anxious about all my other midterms. Um, so yeah so my next midterm is monday um for a clinical assessment if you can see the mi in the background it's so funny my next midterm is clinical assessment and then my last two midterms are like take homes but one is like take home essay which i'm kind of concerned about because i feel like i'm not understanding all the concepts in the class fully to be taking a midterm in the class but I know that once I get it I'll know where to look to find the stuff and then my other midterm is my statistical class um and it's just like using code and R um which is pretty cool it's pretty neat I don't I'm not sure I I'm not sure how I feel about R in comparison to like SPSS or something I like them both um I'm still learning R so I guess it's not a fair comparison right now <laughs> but I do like both R makes me feel like a computer hacker and like I'm like in like some room and like all the black code comes up I just I don't know R makes me feel fancy so then today I gave my second intelligence test um, or cognitive abilities test um, I think it went all right and my like advisor said it went good so it went okay um, we're also learning how to like write up these assessment so like after the person takes it like what would we put in their report if we were like reporting to somebody or something like that we're learning how to do that that's particularly cool i feel like i've learned a lot just in that little span of time of like doing these this is my second one so just in that span of time i felt like i've learned so much um and yeah so let me make sure i didn't miss anything Oh, and I wrote down that I'm, like, feeling like a legit student. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like, whoa, we, like, really, really doing this now. Like, we're seeing people that aren't our classmates, and we're, like, 
assessing them in ways that we would typically do on our own and I think that's pretty cool and I think it's I don't know I feel like I was, it's kind of early for me to be doing that but it's still like really cool like today I was just like wow I'm like kind of good at this so okay we can do this can you see my dog in the background oh I guess I guess he didn't want to be on the bed no more anyways um so yeah this week my clinical vertical team was particularly hard um just because like some of the cases are really hard I'm on like a trauma focused team and so I'm learning through this team how to like really compartmentalize and like not take I don't want to call it baggage but not take like this baggage home with me every night and I'm I'm learning how to do that but it's still sometimes I just feel so bad for like some of these clients and I'm just I feel like I got really close to the camera then but I just feel I don't know like I just I'm one of those people who has like a lot of empathy and a lot of like care and concern for people and I feel stuff like so so deeply and so like I don't know this week was kind of like hmm we got some like really like heart-wrenching stuff going on in our team and I guess it's just the nature of like being a psychologist and being somebody's clinician is that I'm gonna have to learn how to really compartmentalize and like not let it not let it not weigh me down like I want to be an empathetic psychologist and therapist but in a way that doesn't affect my emotional well-being if that makes sense so also this week I've been feeling a little homesick um I live about 12 hours away from home it's about a 12 hour drive to Virginia and I have to drive because I don't think my dog will survive on a plane honestly he has such bad anxiety when being like confined to spaces so I have to drive and it's about a 12 hour drive home and so like I've been feeling like really homesick because like I can't just go home like in Pittsburgh like a long weekend I can just go home and I could drive the like seven hours home but like I can't do that here and like it really hit me hard particularly this week because my cousin slash like my best friend in the whole entire world had her baby and like when she had her first baby I was able to just I was in college and I was just able to go like go for the weekend and see her see the baby and stuff I'm not crying don't <laughs> I mean I do feel sad about being homesick but I'm not crying my face is just itchy and so I I feel like particularly this week has been really hard for me and like I won't be able to go home until like Christmas and I don't know it's really hard like I won't be able to go home for Thanksgiving and I'm I don't know I'm trying not to be upset about it but I am really homesick and like I am kind of bummed out that I won't get to spend Thanksgiving with my family but I also my dad was like this is a part of adulthood and this is how like eventually you won't be able to come home for Thanksgiving because you'll have your own family and stuff like that and I just I don't know I feel like I'm being thrown into adulthood too fast and I'm not ready to like let go of like Thanksgiving and holidays with my family just yet so I'm trying to like not like not be upset about it but I am upset about it because like I just want to go home like I went to college 30 minutes away from my house and I was able to just go home and like now I'm so far I can't just like even for Thanksgiving it's not long enough of a weekend for me to even just like go home for that little bit and like I'm a little I wouldn't say jealous maybe jealous maybe a little envious of like my friends because a lot of them are able to go home and a lot of them are going home for like Christmas like fall break and I'm just like I'll be here and it like it sucks and I am kind of really sad about it though I don't know yeah um and then the last thing this week that's happened I took Nehemiah to a dog party a dog pool party at that my apartment is so like 
bougie and like it's just I don't even know how to explain it but they had a dog pool party and Nehemiah had a great time so I'm going to insert clips here of um him at the dog pool party some of the video I got I actually recorded it all on my phone so the video is vertical instead of horizontal which I wasn't thinking at the time about it but I should have recorded it horizontal so hopefully you guys don't hate me because it's going to look funky there's going to be like the black bars on the side but he had a great time and um it was it was hilarious like the dogs in my building are so funny i just think it was really cool like how like people have personalities like dogs all have their like different quirks and different personalities even though they're not people i don't know but they have like their own personalities and that's cool too and so i'll insert that here That's pretty much it for me for week seven. Um, I might record week eight. I might not. I have a few application things that I need to finish, like not applying for grad school, but for fellowships that I need to finish up this week and next week. And then, um, so I don't know if I'll record week eight, but I know if I don't record week eight, I'll record like a week eight and nine type thing, kind of like how I was combining them before. But I really wanted to record this because I just felt like I had a lot on my heart. I need to tell somebody. Um, and so be sure to follow me on social media. I'll put it somewhere down here. Um, all my social media is t.renee if you're looking for me. Follow the kid. And um, yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have video ideas, please, please, please share them below. Um... I'm trying to think if there's something there was something else I really wanted to say but now it's gone like I am this week has like beat me up like I am so tired like I was like oh when I come home I'm gonna finish this intake I'm gonna finish this assessment and like get down the base like the write-up of it <laughs> no like I literally sat and watched Jess fam for like two almost two hours and I was like okay I've had enough of a break let's do work and I was just like I was just like stuck like I was just so tired I was like stuck so yeah so hopefully your week is going better than that and I will see you guys in the next video peace out and I love y'all so much good night mm -hmm.